What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to change the message of the day or MOTD for your Apex server. Before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of all our tutorials just like this one. When getting ready to join a Minecraft server, one of the first things players notice is a little description text on the server. This description is called the MOTD or message of the day, and this text normally provides a bit of information related to the server. For example, on my server list when I click on multiplayer, it's going to show me stuff like what type of mini games the server might have, it, whether or not it's down for maintenance, and so on. The message of the day can include colored or styled text and really add some character to your server. Nearly all successful servers have a well set MOTD. By default, you may see the text as new Minecraft server or as the one on the bottom here says a Minecraft server. This can be very easily changed on your server through the Apex panel and we're going to be showing you just how to do that. Our first step in the process is going to be looking up or googling MC tools. Once you search it up, just go ahead and click on MOTD creator. And then as you can see here, it's going to show a bunch of different colors or textiles that you can have for your MOTD. In the first input, all you need to do is type what you want it to be and set the format for it, and then locate the input that says server properties file, and then highlight that, right click, and then copy. And then you're all set to paste it into your server. Our first step in pasting it into our servers is going to be heading to our server panel and then stopping the server. Once your servers come to a full stop, you can go ahead and jump into config files to the left of the panel, and once this page loads up, then you can go ahead and click on the first file at the top, the server settings file. Once this page loads up, then you can go ahead and scroll down to the message of the day input location. And then from there, you can go ahead and highlight whatever's in the text box and then delete it. And then paste in what you've got. And then scroll down to the very bottom of the page and click on save. When you save, it's going to ask you to restart your server. Go ahead to restart it for changes to take effect. And once your server is back up, you should have a new MOTD for your Apex server. For changing the MOTD or making the MOTD for a bungee cord server, we're going to start off the same way, by looking up MOTD tools on Google. Then we're going to go ahead and click on one of the first things we see. And then we're going to, of course, go ahead and create our MOTD. And then instead of going for the server properties file, we're going to go ahead and look for the bungee cord part of the page. And then that is where we're going to end up copying our MOTD from. Just highlight it, right click, and then copy. And then you're ready to go over to your panel to, and paste it in. On the panel, we're going to start off the same way. We're going to go ahead and stop our server. And once our server comes to a full stop, instead of going to config files, we're going to go ahead and jump into FTP file access. And of course, we're going to go ahead and log in. And once we're logged in, we can go ahead and jump into the config.yml. Click edit to the right of the config.yml. And then at the very top of the config, we're going to go ahead and highlight everything that's in the MOTD input and then paste in what we have. And it needs to be surrounded in quotes. So just make sure to clean up everything besides the quotes. And now that it's cleaned up, just click save at the top of the page. And once it's saved, then you can go ahead and click on your server name at the top of the page to get back to the panel. From there, you can go ahead and start or restart your server. And then you'll have a new MOTD for your Bungie Cord server. A quick note for Bungie Cord servers is that if you have a priority server, you can set the MOTD at the top of the Bungie Cord config, but you're going to have to end up scrolling to the bottom of the Bungie Cord config so that you can set the MOTD at the bottom as well. This way you can be sure that your MOTD shows through on your server list. There are two common issues that may arise during this process. The first one being that the MOTD still shows the default value. If this is still happening after you change it, it's likely that the server either was not restarted or what you set in your settings was not saved. It could also be that you're running a network such as Bungie Cord, which, if this is the case, you're going to need to set the MOTD in the config YML 
in the FTP file access instead of server settings for your config files. The other issue would be that the colors aren't working. Make sure to not use the AND symbol unless you're running a Bungie Core server. We highly recommend using the MC Tools website to make sure that your color codes are properly set. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial, and I want to thank you for using an Apex server. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.